Hi, my name's Dan, and this video is part of a series of videos that I'm doing on the use of effectors in the Unreal Engine. Uh, however, in this uh, video, I'm going to expand out a little bit from the uh, from the concept of vectors and talk about the transform or transforms. Uh, so, uh, the first thing to say is the pronunciation here. Of course, that's hugely important to pedants like me. This uh, word is not transform with the emphasis on the second syllable, but transform with the emphasis on the first syllable. And it's a mathematical concept, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, you probably have noticed this word transform over here, and you might have th uh, thought that it meant uh, transform as a verb. It's not, it's a noun. And this uh, represents the, tr the transform of an object. So I've got selected this uh, little pad here, which is the thing that I've had from previous videos. It's just something to play around with, with the blueprint. And um, uh, you will see, hopefully, that uh, the transform for this has a location, a rotation, and a scale. And if you move it, it changes its location. If you rotate it, so let's use the it changes its rotation fairly obviously and if you uh, get the scale up and stretch it then the scale part of it changes um, so the this thing called the transform is a combination of these three ideas location rotation and scale um, and it is related to a thing in magnetics called Afghan transformations. Um, and it's, uh, it's actually uh, happens under the hood. There's actually matrices going on here, but you don't need to worry about that. You just need to think about the vectors that are involved here. So we're going to go into this pad. And we're going to do some manipulation of uh, the transform. So the first thing we're going to do is get actor transform so we can get the separate bits of it if we want to and do get actor rotation we just want the rotation um and a transform in uh, unreal is orange and a transform represents not just where something is but how it's oriented so which direction it's facing and scaling of it in three dimensions um i can Actually, I pull this off and do a break. I can do break um, split strokes in there, uh, but I'm going to do a break here instead. And we can see that it comes into location, which is yellow and is a vector. Scale, which is yellow and is a vector. Rotation, which is light purple and is therefore implied to not be a vector. However, if we right click on that and split stroke pin, we will find that the rotation is made up of three floating point numbers. I cannot tell you with any degree of confidence why it is that uh, Unreal have decided, or Epic have decided, that the rotation is not a vector. Um, and what is behind that? I'm sure there's something subtle going on here. It seems to me to be three numbers. I do have a small suspicion about this which is that as well as those three numbers, it also has uh, embedded and implicit with it the order in which those rotations should be applied to the object. And it is I know that it is true that if you mess with the order that they're applied, then actually that means that it doesn't do the same thing. It's not in the same position. Okay, so we saw in the last one that um, we can... Uh, make changes over time to uh, various aspects of this. So what we're going to do is replicate. Uh, this is a, a pad. It wasn't last time; it was the time before. Uh, we're going to replicate um, the movement elements of this uh, for clarity. Maybe I should have pulled this out and broken it again. Uh, we're going to mess about with the scale as well. So I will do that. I'll do break vector, and you can see it's vector. If you did that out of a uh, um, the rotation it says break rotation not break vector. um so what we are what we're actually going to do we're going to set uh set that so transform so we're just going to do some messing about this for the sake of it and for fun basically what we're going to do 
make Ooh, wrong one make relative transform don't want that one make world I'll just make transform there we go I'm not talking about relative stuff yet we'll do that uh, in a video that's coming up and I'm going to make the X location change. I'm going to make it slowly move. So I'm going to uh, add filter seconds. Um, uh, times. Let's make it go a little bit faster than the a previous video. So I'll put 20 in there. Uh, we'll add that amount to there. And uh, we're going to make vector. Just down the bottom, getting a little bit messy, so I'm going to move things around a bit and I'm going to give it some space because we're going to do some stuff with the orbits of this as well. So we're going to just use the location x to change and reconstitute, just pass through the y and the z, make the new transform, and then it will um, move. That's the theory. If we've got it right, then this pad will slowly be moving along. There we go. It is exactly doing what I thought. Right, we're going to play with the rotation next. So we're going to play with, uh, so there's rotation X, Y, and Z, and it gives you roll, pitch, and yaw. Uh, you can't see my hands, uh, so let's try and do some description. So yaw is um, rotating uh, around the Z axis, which goes upwards, so it's, it's turning to face different directions in the 2D plane. Uh, pitch is kind of uh, rotating if we're an aeroplane. It's like the one wing going down and one which uh, wing going up. Uh, or is that? No, that's roll. I always get these mixed up. And pitch is your nose is pointing towards the ground or your nose is pointing high up in the air for a plane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it uh, rotate over time as well. So Unreal uses um, uh, uh, degrees for angles. So I'm going to want to make it spin relatively fast. So I'm going to multiply that by, um, what should we do? 66 seconds to rotate or one second to rotate? Make 100 notes and make it two seconds to rotate. Okay. And then we're going to. Uh, Drag this out and say make or make rotator. There's lots of different options of making rotators. Possibly that's why it's a separate construct so that it will rec recognize that. And we're going to do this for the Z, so that's around the up down axis. And, oh. I'm plugging this in wrong. That needs to go. Um, needs to add that bit. Otherwise, it won't keep rotating. It'll just face in the, the same direction, maybe slightly changing. If the um, uh, if the frame rate changes, so. Once again, hopefully, this means it's moving along and rotating. Rotating quite quickly, which is kind of what we wanted. But it's slowly moving along. But the movement is a little bit subtle. But, um, I'm going to slow down that rotation just for the sake of it. So I'll just change that point to 16. So it will take a lot, lo a lot longer to rotate, but it'll still be obvious it's rotating. To be honest, you've probably by now got the idea of what this does, but I'm just playing with it now just for the sake of uh, having a longer video. No, um, just because I enjoy playing with things. Um, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the scale, and I'm going to um, make the scale. Uh, let's try and do something a little bit more complicated. I'm going to make it pulse. Uh, just give it some space. So. Um, I'm going to, what am I going to do? I, I'm just thinking in my head, what kind of period of pulse do I want? Um, and about one, two seconds maybe. So I'm going to multiply that by 180. So I'm going to, why am I doing 
numbers that look like they're to do with angles when it's I'm actually talking about um, scale. It's because I'm going to apply a sine wave to make it look as if it's pulsing. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is get the sign from that and then uh, I'm going to add 0 0.5. Okay. And which way am I going to make it pulse? I'm going to use the, the Y for this. So um, I'm going to uh, make vector. Now I'm going to keep the X and the Z static. I'm not going to add it to the Y because the Y is actually constant because uh, the, these are all one. And what I'm going to do is this sine wave is going to make it vary between uh, 0 0.5 and 1.5 over a two second a period of time. That's the theory. Is it working? No. Well, I've done something wrong. And now I know what I've done wrong is because I want to make this you know, over time. So actually what I want to be doing is keeping a um, a time, a thing over time, constant. Uh, so I'm going to have a time variable. That's a constant on it, variable. So I need to add to that every time uh, so, uh, set time plug that into wherever on earth it's going there and I've got a bit of a messy thing here um, and that's going to take the previous value of time and have the two together all this just to get a pulsing effect then and then I'm going to use that to plug into the I, I was confident last time, but I'm confident this time. It's flickering. What's it flickering? I do not know why it's flickering. But there we go. I've done something. I'm not going to spend more time working on that, but you can see that I can manipulate this. Um, the scale, I can manipulate the angle that things are facing, I can manipulate the position. If there's one takeaway from this video, it's that the transform is made up of the location, the scale, and the rotation. And the rotation is a special case for some reason. And that's it from me for now.